Hello guys, for this video, I will share to you how I fry the spring roll. Um, I have a co-worker that she ordered a bull roll or spring roll to me, but she doesn't have experience how to fry it. So I will share to her. Hello, Inessa. Here's your video how to fry the uh, spring roll. Yesterday, I made 50 pieces of spring roll because Inessa, my co-worker, have ordered 20 pieces and then someone ordered 25 pieces, supposed to be 30 pieces. But since that I'm going to show to Inessa how to cook the, how to fry the spring roll, I left five pieces so for me and to my uh, son and husband. So uh, I will, t I put here the spring roll that I made yesterday. Here, here's the five left. Here's is for Inessa and then someone have <clears throat> I pick up already that 25 pieces. So here's the five left, two pieces. Yeah. So it's frozen. I don't need to defrost it. Then I will. Yes. So then later I can cook the three pieces to my son and to my husband. And for my things that I need, I need a small casserole. Since that. Uh, only two pieces of uh, spring roll I'm going to cook fry uh, I need only small casserole yeah it's just me and then I need a strainer or with under is the bowl small bowl to remove the excess oil if you don't have this kind it's okay sometimes I'm using also a paper uh, paper towels to what do you call that one to remove the ex some excess oil and then this clump i need it or if you don't have this kind of clump i have a uh, two gavel or fork something like that or a gavel yeah uh, cooking oil i'm using this kind of cooking oil yeah so and then let's on the this one so since that i'm hungry i will put an eight right now and then <clears throat> I will put the oil uh, just uh, just enough to deep fry the I will put the oil just enough to deep fry the the spring roll and then I'll make sure I don't I don't I don't need to deprose the the spring roll you know just out from the freezer this one if have a little bit a little bit um what do you call that ice can remove that one so you know ice and oil that is not good you can see uh, some excess ice to the spring roll just remove it you know just for safety the casserole with oil i put on level eight the heat there and then if i think i wait for one minute to to warm the oil and then I can put my hand so I can peel the warm on top of the casserole. But do not touch the casserole. It's a bit, you don't you never know, like that only. So you can peel it warm already the oil. And so, and then I will put on uh, in level 7 the heat. Uh, Then put slowly the uh, spring roll. Uh, yeah, so be careful to the oil. Just wait until it looks brown. The inside is I cook already, so just to warm the inside and then just to make it crunchy the uh, spring roll wrapper while you are frying it. And then turn it with using the clump. So like that guys, how I spray the spring roll. So, maximum I can put in that kind of casserole, um, in that small of casserole, four pieces. Just turn it. 
Okay. So it looks brown immediately and then I put on, you can put down the heat on level 6. Mm -hmm. Okay, just slowly and turn the burrow so the other side cook also. And just turn a little bit the spring roll to the other side. So all the side is fried. And then, so I think I cook that one three to four minutes is okay. Depends how many you were going to put in the casserole. And then since that, all is, looks brown and it's just uh, two pieces, I turn off the, the cooking plate. Then just wait a little bit. So, you know, the last heat from the oil is still boiling a little bit. Uh, so just to make sure that is the inside is a bit warm, not cold. Because it's from the freezer. See, it's still boiling nicely. <laughs> so you can uh, try also if you can put in the level 5, you know. So that's how I fry the spring roll. It depends how big is the spring roll. If the spring roll is a, a little bit big, it's more take long time to fry. But since that my spring roll is just a... That's that big, so three to four minutes and end up. So yeah, guys. So it's not burned. Do not burn. It's not good, you know. And, uh, I think I can uh, remove now from the casserole the spring roll. And then I can put to the strainer to remove the excess oil. Or if you don't have a strainer, you can just put to the paper towel like that. And then yours. So if you don't have the clamp, I'm, before I'm using the fork. So I will show you how I use the fork. So like that. So I'm turning like that also and then I'm removing like that. See? So I just show you how I use the fork. But it's better to have a clump. So better to have a clump. So let's wait because it's too warm. Now I will show you how, what, what sauce I'm going to use. I have a two type of sauce here, chili sauce. From Norway, I bought this here in Norway. So I have this Santa Maria brand, but my son doesn't like it. It's a bit strong taste. So my son more like this kind, El Dorado. So I will put a little bit. That is perfect, you know. So And then just a little bit because since that is just two pieces, and then let's try, guys. Wow, it's nice. See, two pieces. Wow, it's nicely cooked inside. So, thank you guys for watching.